There we go. Welcome back, cool cats, to the world of Banished. So it's been quite a bit. Gets his billet. Let's return and see what we we're doing. People really seem to like the last episode, the first episode. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna slow things down. <laughs> Just a wee bit. So first thing I notice is we are orientated. Oriented. In an, okay, that's a little more familiar. At capacity. Okay. But that's not full. That's approaching full. So we're going to up that a bit. Okay. Yeah, let's bump that up to 8,000. And if we have a problem with space, then we'll deal with that as we come to it. <clears throat> let's see, we lost the blacksmith. Looks like someone already took over that, though. Okay, usually the laborers, laborers just take the place, but it depends on whether they're available in the moment. Which I'm guessing someone must have been freshly available after the message come out, which is the reason why it's there. So we've got one on iron, two on stone, a couple hunters, or well, three hunters, gatherers. What are we growing? Plums, right? Not going to yield anything in the winter. <clears throat> What's our next area of expansion? Oh yeah, we just... We had built the trading post. It's the last thing we did. I don't fully understand how this works. But I don't think we can do much while there's not a trader there. So it doesn't particularly matter at the moment. I believe the main problem we were dealing with is population stagnating. No. You need a continuous flow. Hey, there you go. Right on time. A child named Newell was born. That's what we need. Worrying about population growth seems a bit like... Uh, Eugenics, but <laughs> I'm sure it's not. <laughs> it's also kind of necessary within the context of the game. Hmm. Yeah, th th there's really not too much to do until we get some more students and laborers. Where is keep trying to gra drag the screen but that's not how you move it there we go 21 homes 16 families 43 citizens 31 of them are adults you got anything that maybe shows their age population adults hmm I would like to see how many. Looks like they're all good. I wonder when that'll start happening. I have never seen, seen this. I think it needs to happen at some point. Otherwise, you're just going to stagnate. Eventually, we'll want to fill this out, I think, so we have variety. You cannot produce because you don't have more plums. 
does it make sense to just continue building stuff in the meantime? Maybe a few more houses. Let's see. Maybe look around and see what we're lacking in terms of production. I don't think I'm building anything at the moment. I've made one of each, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. No, I... Did not click that. Please tell me I didn't put it down somewhere stupid. Oh, okay. So we have quarry. Mine. Tavern. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it will be a good idea to build another logging camp somewhere out here in the Goonies. So let's expand the road. Also, I see a lot of the, the mushroom. So maybe adding some hunters. I don't know how far I want to go with this. All the way to the end. Why not? Builders don't seem to be doing anything productive, so. Put a hunter's cabin, a logger's cabin. We're right next to a huge lake. I don't think there's really anything productive you can do with that, though. Maybe build a bridge. They'll have access to these trees and whatnot. You know, we don't need that happening urgently, so... Let's get more stone production so we can put some more stone paths down, since we're going to eventually need them. Like, doing the entire residential block in stone would be nice. Another child was born. Keep them coming. Taylor. If you're at your limit, then you're fine. Logs and iron. Let's see. This is where I should focus in terms of, like, what do we have? Doing fine on logs. Firewood is great. Actually, not doing well on logs. But logs are only for construction. It's the firewood that the uh, citizens rely on. Pumpkin, venison, roots, berries. Okay. Looks like the end of winter is quickly approaching. Let's go ahead and speed it up to five. <clears throat> what are we low on? Iron, that's not a problem. Oops. We lost a miner. Well. You win some, you lose some. Oops. There we go. Get back to work. Farmers are getting back to work. Okay, looks like she finished that. So we will go ahead and add a logging post. We haven't built the hospital, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure how necessary that is at this stage. But this is a good spot for right here, I suppose. Right next to all the houses. Should we do that first? I don't think so. Yeah, it's a pretty heavy toll on everything. I would rather build another logging camp. Merchant. Okay, what you got? Gonna slow this down, because I don't know if you're timed or not. I think you are. Yes, I would like all that, please.
you are selling cattle, I need to manage to sell 800 units. Okay. Can I do this? I need fish, corn, and venison. If it's stored there, how come I can't sell it? Counts, 100. Why this reset? I would like to trade you this stuff. We lost a blacksmith. Okay, the inventory, yes. Oh, he doesn't have, okay, they're not valuable to him. So, that makes sense. So let's see if we can expand this a bit. What else do you want? Firewood. Well, everybody's gonna be cold, but we need some cattle. Where's the firewood button? Am I blind? Stone, pumpkin, plum, mushroom, leather, iron, herbs, firewood. Jen asks questions you already know the answer to. Okay. I'm not sure we can get there. Let's see, we had 240 with 40 of each. Bump that up to 120, then multiply two times 240 times three, that's six, and then 720, so we're gonna need a wee bit more. I don't know if we're getting there. Lost a fisherman. I mean, if you can just hang out a wee bit longer, Mr. Trader Dude, I am trying to make it happen. Because presumably cattle will grant us... What? Leather and meat? Flesh of the innocent? Okay, so... I guess we're just gonna watch as the values tick up and hope that we can get it where we need to go. In the meantime, no, but if we if we try to build something right now, that's gonna take away from the logs. Fudge buckets. Can you get to work faster? You rely on the logs too. Okay. So let's take someone off of there. Cut more woods. You know what? Slice and dice. Actually, no. How many fishermen do we have left then? I'm not sure fish is the most productive food source anyway, so whatever.
What? The frick you mean? Did he die? Yes, he did. Okay. Well, sorry. No alcohol for you. This is urgent. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this a little less clunky. That's uh, somewhat better. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I suppose it's not necessary for me to have all these open at once, but like, this is the game. It's uh, watching. I'm a dingus. All we need to do is just have them cut. But where should we have them cut from? This whole patch. And whoever's available, if anyone, will do it. They managed to get logs up to 61. Yes, more children, please. Keep them um, pumping, guys <laughs> and gals. Bring that back up to five. <clears throat> I'd rather trade firewood since it's worth a lot more. Oh, come on, a woodcutter died. <laughs> oh, fudge buckets. Okay, good. Yes, please, get to work. Right on time. Right on time. waiting for the wood to come in. They don't seem to want to give up their firewood, understandably, so logs it is. Don't really matter to me as long as we get there. There's always more trees. I hope you guys like the repetitive sounds of trees being felled. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, does do you still hear it repetitively in your ear? What is that question actually asking? Like, is it asking, does the action of a tree falling make a sound you think the answer would automatically be of course whether or not someone's around to hear it doesn't matter like it doesn't need a person perceiving it for the sound to happen but does that actually make sense oh we have another labor okay stone then after that, well, we really got to sort out this. Either get the cattle or don't. Damn, look at all these people living alone in a big house. Jealous. <laughs> oh, we got some firewood in. Okay, how long has that been there? Yo, let's go. Well, overpaying by 40 units. Let's take off some of that. We did it. Okay, so let's make a little cattle thingamajiggaloo. 
I wouldn't mind getting a second. But I don't know if that's going to happen in time. I don't know if he's if he's there for a certain amount of time or what. But if we can make it happen, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's continue chopping down some trees, though. Whoever's available will do it. Because presumably you need two, right? Two of whatever cattle or livestock you got. So if we can get to that second one, that would be ideal. This poor tradesman, though, he's been here for like a year. <laughs> oh, he don't mind. I, I presume. I'm actually tempted to put another. Well, we can just assign someone else here, right? Is one only one allowed to work there at a time? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> In that case, woodcutter. We have one cattle, so it'll happen when it happens. This stockpile would have been better placed over here, judging by what I'm now trying to do, but meh, they'll figure it out. There's still some firewood, stop complaining. Hmm. It'll take quite a bit of logs in order to get there. So I don't think that's happening. Quite a bit of logs is good English, I promise. <laughs> what do we need? Cattle. Cool. Go pick up the cow. I like how he just walked himself there. It's a smart cow. He knows what it's about. It's like you own a cat. And the cat con tr constantly tries to run away. That's not a smart cat. Why would you run away from a guaranteed food source? Like, that's stupid. <laughs> you see, the cow knows, like, oh, these people will feed me and clean up my crap. Literally. Like, why would you leave? Now, what does a cattle produce? Like, I'm asking, what does a single cow produce? Milk, right? I think I just answered my own question with that. He just makes milk. Milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudges me. Did I actually? Yeah, maybe. Want to fight about it? Okay. 
So with that reserve of logs... Like, right about here would actually be pretty perfect, I guess. I mean, over here is fine. A lot of that just covers the pasture. Pasture. Crop field. Food production zone. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Not going to have someone available to work there right away. But... Temporarily. I'm going to put you on food production. Are you cold? You're cold. You're cold. No firewood. I mean, if you guys could hurry up and get this done, that'd be great. But it would seem all the builders are busy. So we'll get to it eventually. Got a whole bunch of stone out of that. That's pretty good. They're still working on felling all that. I could probably can't. What? What are we low on? Firewood. No shoot. They're working on it. Yeah, I could probably cancel. All this removal just so that they'll like focus on building. Yeah. Brewer, we don't have a brewer. Physician, we don't have a physician because we don't have a hospital. Now they're focusing on building. I think the first step is to take someone off uh, food production. Your health is still fine. Take someone off of food production and get them building uh, firewood. Too much to dismiss. There we go. Once the um, logging camp fudge buckets is built, they'll just work at both locations. So they'll be spread a little thin, but they'll be covering more ground. We need another laborer. That was one of our farmers, too. Yep, so we're back down to eight. <clears throat> so we have a town hall built. We have... What else do we need to build for... Um, and we have a market. What else do we need for nomads? I don't know. Oh, we got some more firewood in here. Almost there. Once we get a second one, I think we can dismiss them, right? After that, we will be able to produce our own the usual way. You savvy? <laughs> Alright, get to work. I know, I know. The reserve of firewood is low.
I see. Well, for now, yeah, just leave it there. Let's build up at least 10 in case some get sick and die. person there is enough, I guess. How you get crushed? Oh, that's a stupid question. I'm sure people die in that profession all the time. Rip. Now we got some more firewood in. Over bang a bit. That's just gonna have to happen then. That's fine. Okay, get out of here. Let's lower how much inventory we're keeping here because it keeps crying to me about firewood. Alright, that's fine. Once again, I praise these people on their ability to infinitely store food. Okay, so. You need to get busy with you. <laughs> I hope that was the most diplomatic way to say that. Ooh. They all went bad. Alright, I don't really have someone... What are you doing? Are you doing anything productive? You're idling. Okay. I don't like doing that, but... Here. Make... Make make the juice. I'm not gonna build any more homes until we get some more families. We're up to eighteen now. Okay. Oh put you back on building. <clears throat> With all that stone, maybe it's time to look at a hospital. Right next to <laughs> right next to the bar. <laughs> I really like that idea. Don't really need a road there, but why not? Why not? I wonder if having a hospital will lower the chance of someone dying from being crushed by a rock. Because it says crushed by a rock, but that doesn't necessarily mean they were dot dead instantaneously, right? Maybe they were just injured. And with the hospital, they have a possibility of surviving said injury. How are we doing on firewood now? It hasn't cried. A little bit better. Mm -hmm. I would like to see the school of a little more full. Of happy young minds who will spend their life working for survival. Don't we all? It's low on iron. Can you help me find some iron on the map? There's some. There's some. Got any close to a road? There's some. They'll get to it.
keeps crying for that. I only have one on each resource, so I don't know what you want me to do. Maybe I'll take someone off food. And put you... Cutting wood. Are we still storing firewood here? Can we not? I mean, it's already full, so there's no need to mess with that. We're at 18. You guys are fine. Look, each house gets one piece of firewood. It's fine. Unfortunately, it's a long way for them to go through all that iron. That's just unavoidable. Man, you don't do shit. I don't see any alcohols. Where the booze at? Sheesh. Why is the rum always gone? Got two people working. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, look at them! Look at them grow. That's cute. I can't call a tree cute. Yeah, it's cute. And what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, looks like they're gathering the iron, at least. Why are you bringing fish over here? Are you stupid? There's a barn right there, dummy. Like, I can understand the corn being brought here. That's why I built it initially, I think. But oh, It's a baby. It's a baby. They made a baby. Good job, you two. Good job. Now, can you make, like, a few more so that I can slaughter them for food? I'm only going to leave one person on fish production. I find it very satisfying how tightly packed all these trees are. Also, there's a variety. Like, they don't just plant one tree. They plant this one and this one. This one looks like... I was going to say spruce, but that's not right. Birch. From Minecraft. It looks like birch, and that looks like oak. Where is the dark oak at? That's the superior. There we go. The superior wood. I don't think we need more than one person working there. wood we have a builder again what do you need iron we're fine on tools you I think we're fine on that as well actually we will take a logger off and have him become a physician once this is built because you know that's a very clear career path I mean, honestly, if only, right? <laughs> I guess when your population is below 50, you take what you can get. Hey, uh, Bill. Yeah. You ever, uh, stitch someone up? I sewed my clothes once. You son of a bitch, you're hired.
Also, did I see that right? Showing up. Alright. What did I say? New family on the block. It's not even with the rest of the houses. Or maybe it is. And we have another laborer. <clears throat> We're going to keep some in reserve just so they can take over when someone dies. Like that. <laughs> That's Taylor died of old age. What? No log? <clears throat> this looks like it's outside the range of my foresters. So. Y'all can get to that when you're able. This is outside the range, too. So y'all can cut that when you're available. I wonder how often livestock need an injection of fresh DNA. I know my phrasing there. It, before they start suffering from genetic abnormalities. We don't need any, um, what are you doing, stepmom? Stuff going on there. We lost another farmer. We're down to six. Um... What? No. Someone needs to work on that. Okay. Alright, bud. What you got? You're selling me logs. No. Get out of here. I should have seen what he had to order. But I was insulted. <laughs> you are a brave, brave man going under that bridge like that. Let's see where he goes. He, my dude's off-roading over here. Dun 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 Dun, 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 Look at him working hard, dude. He even got his little fedora on. He's like, I'll go too. Ted, don't leave me. You said you'd take me with you. Sorry, Mary. Rolling stones gotta keep on rolling. More like a rowing stone, am I right? It's okay to laugh. That was a good joke. <laughs> like, for real, though, where are you going to go? Off the map. Bye. Alright. The hospital is not yet built. It looks like those castles that we see these days left over from thousands of years ago. Or maybe just 500 years ago? I don't know. It depends on the castle, I guess. Would you like to live in a castle? I think it'd be pretty cool, but it would also be kind of creepy. Because presumably the castle is large. Unless you make the castle just the, so the size of an apartment. Which, that seems the uh, epitome of lame. <laughs> go big or go home, am I right? Okay. And 
granted, we lost two families somehow. Weird. I haven't really seen too many fires, but I'm kind of feeling maybe we should have another water post, like, down here. Oh, our teacher finally passed. I bet she was really nice. Or really mean. There seems to be no in-between. We don't have a herbalist. No point having meat if you can't season it, right? <laughs> Now, who are we going to assign to the hospital? Um, doing good on firewood. What? Oh, that just happened. Okay. They will take someone off wood cutting. How many how many people do I have on stone? Do I have two? Nope. Yep. <laughs> you can also make coal, which is better for heating. I would rather have a reserve, though, of tools before I try that. <clears throat> Having coal also means better tools that last longer, but you still need a reserve of iron in that case. Which we ain't right there. kind of just have ones and twos assigned to all of the various professions. They had another baby. Aw, oh, how you doing? One day you're gonna grow up and you're gonna be neat. I was thinking of putting a hunter's cabin over here, but like we ain't got the people. <laughs> oh. Let's see. You know, this single fisherman is pumping them out, right? Probably not the best phrasing. Roots, mushrooms, herbs. Got plenty of coats. Could I take you? off of that where would I put you um. hmm. <clears throat> I suppose I should just have them gathering stuff right if they're not working on anything else collected all that there is some iron over here but there's some right here get to work on that is that some iron right there stuck in the orchard Sure enough. There's also some on that side. How'd I miss all this? I guess I just didn't look. We lost 
across the farmer. And we'll just have to keep an eye on the coats. Once uh, it gets pretty low, then we're going to have to assign someone back. You know, all we can do is always just assign them there during the winter. You know, while there's that huge supply of iron coming in, why don't you get to work on some coal? Okay. We got plenty of stone around. Why don't you do... No, 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 no. Give me at least eight farmers. <clears throat> they are farmers. Dun, 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 dun. I like how it tells me the reserve of iron is low when they're literally working on that right now. Firewood is at that much. So. Since that's the most valuable thing we have to trade, why not? We should put a road there. Watch them not use it. <laughs> well, at least she's building it. Imagine doing construction in a white shirt. That's brave. That's brave. <laughs> Everybody's clothed, educated. Huh, so that means the last of the uneducated passed away. Who running around naked? The baby, obviously. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Put some clothes on that baby. You know, we can also probably sell a bit of stone, huh? Just looking at all that reserve. Maybe a hundred is too high. Let's drop that down to sixty. And there's a bunch over here too though. But it's good to have a nice reserve of that for when uh we need a sudden construction project. The heck is that? The hunter's working, I guess. Bridge, the fisherman has died. Aw. He, he worked hard, man. But also his name was Bridge. What's wrong with that person's parents? <laughs> You know what? I bet his parents were young when this bridge was originally built. And they were just like, I love that bridge. That bridge was like half of my adult life. I'm gonna name my child's bridge. <laughs> or, or you know what? The mom was like, 
I sure would love a child named Bridget. But then they had a boy, so they're like, well... <laughs> your name is Bridge. <laughs> oh, man. Poor kid. They had another baby. <clears throat> I wonder if you can trade cattle. Presumably. Well, it depends. Can it be in the inventory? It's not, so I don't know. They're still working on that iron. That must be the coal, right? Is that really the best you guys could do in terms of stacking? Like, I understand it's coal, but... Looks like a, a, a coal monster just took a hot steaming dump on my stockpile. You've got coal. Get to work. Oh, we lost the gatherer. Oh, we've got one. How are we doing on food overall? <clears throat> Plenty of venison, onions, roots, pumpkin, mushroom. Oodles and oodles of corn. Herbs and fish. Fish is a bit low. I guess the new guy isn't uh, up to snuff. We lost the Forester, so we're down to four. How are we doing on hide coats? It's still out of 50. They last a while, so I think this can stay empty for a while. No patience. Imagine you're a doctor. You go to medical school for eight years or whatever, 16 years, because you have to do like a residency, I guess, if, if I understand that correctly. And then, since you don't have any patients and no one's sick, you have to cut wood. I wouldn't be mad at that, because it's like, isn't that your, what you hope for is that no one gets sick? You know, your existence is supposed to be a necessity, not a desire. At least that's how it's supposed to be. I my more cynical side wonders if there's not doctors who purposefully maybe do things uh, you know a little less than ethically or at least lazily and end up creating their own patients that's a that's a cynical thought and it's meant to be taken as such You know, I wish we could put one person making iron and another person making coal. Okay, let's continue our hunt for iron. That's stone. Whatever is available to be cut will be cut. I think we're just about tapped out though. Which means I should probably just take someone off of building and put them onto. Well, since we have a laborer now. <clears throat> and we lost another farmer. Well. You know, what if. <laughs> it's so stupid. 
make another mine just so you can have one producing coal and the other producing iron without having to switch back and forth. Alright, what's it take? Stone and wood we got. Why am I not able to switch? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to want to do that eventually, so... And we'll put a stockpile down next to it. <coughs> what do we got? Hmm... Maybe we'll buy some wood. What do you have available in the meantime? Leather... I don't need. I don't need. Yeah, I don't need, man. <clears throat> I mean, I guess. Sure. Might as well have a reserve. I mean, since we have the firewood to spare, right? Cool. Alright. Later, skater. Nomads. Seven nomads, holy bursh. Hell yeah. What's up? Okay. So that's how that's supposed to work. Okay, um, sorry guys, let's get you home. Unfortunately, some of y'all are gonna be have to be right next to a farm. <clears throat> that and an influx of new people okay Seven people, though. Holy cow. I was not expecting... I thought it would be like ones and twos, but seven. That's pretty sick. It's also pretty necessary. Okay, we're down to 37. Let's go ahead and put you back on that. We can also make warm coats, which are leather and wool, but we don't have any sheep. So how many families do we have now? Still only 19. So, I guess some of these households instantly decided to marry <laughs> some of the nomads. They're like, finally, a fresh face. Get in here, you old scamp. How are we doing on iron? Still okay. <laughs> Perfectly good road. You know, if that's the way people are walking. I think they're all housed, but yeah, they, they, they probably instantly moved in to these places. But still, having more houses seems to encourage more uh, the baby making, so. Speaking of baby making, 
We got two. Um. Hey, uh, Jebediah, I think he's stuck. <laughs> Somebody come get her. He's stuck on the fence like a creator. <clears throat> oh, is this almost done? Yeah, it's almost done. some steel tools already very good those will last longer which is ultimately better Somebody come get her. he's stuck on the fence like a creator all right mm, about 20 more minutes and then i'll have to call it an episode gotta make some food for the workies How many students do we have? Only three. But we just had a whole bunch of adults join the workforce, so that's fine for now. Let's have two here, two making iron, two making coal. If we can maintain that, I, I think that's the way forward. Because as long as we're not building with it, we don't need a huge supply of iron. We just need enough for tools. That's another house built. Got some students, some young minds joining the school force. <laughs> Could call it that. Um, how are we doing on everything? Ample amounts of firewood. Logs are a bit low. But I'd like to have someone... Now yeah, we can reassign. Later if need be. <clears throat> Do have this reserve of wood here too. Just kind of sitting there. How are we doing on food overall? <clears throat> Seems to be well enough. I would like to start filling in the food professions again. Like maybe get another fisherman, another gatherer. Only have one hunter. At least with the arrival of the nomads, we know we are fulfilling those conditions. Hospital ain't doing much. Well, it's a good thing we assigned someone to be a forester since they uh, died. <laughs> Rip. 21 families. <clears throat> They're gonna get educated, so that's not a problem. <laughs> there must have been a baby who's naked. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Who the heck is naked, man? It's, it's middle of winter.
What are you doing? You're working, really. I, um... Someone come get their grandma? I, I don't think she's feeling too well. <laughs> okay, now everybody got clothes on. Got five students, 16 children. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> For sure, with this population boom, we need more food. <laughs> Yeah, they're burning through the food much more quickly now. Well, part of the reason that number is not rising is because it's winter. We've got all this space to turn into cropland, so ain't a big deal. <clears throat> also, once the numbers here reach a certain point, we're going to start producing food there, too, so... See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Worth the trouble, I think. Should we speed up? Hmm. Can gather this wood. <clears throat> In the event they're not doing anything else. Maybe expand the stockpile a bit. Looks full. Why is there coal over here? Why <laughs> is there cold over there? Ideals, you know. Okay. Um, if they're gonna be stupid, then I have to accommodate them, unfortunately. We lost a woodcutter. the farmer right on time wonderful do you have everything you need yeah I the eh, you can you know let's raise it or we 150 a bit is a bit much but that's fine for now Another baby. <clears throat> Nine students, holy cow. Still sixteen ch children. We lost a couple families somehow. I did change. Fifty eight citizens. Fifty eight members. We 
we will need to expand the graveyard over here, I think, eventually. It's a nice little, like, I guess in modern days it would be a carport, but obviously in this case it's just like a patio. Put some wood down, man. Don't make everybody sit on the floor. Like, see, like this. This is nice. Still got some wood houses. I'm not going to replace them. Not until... Hmm. I mean, once this is full, we need to start considering which way do we expand. Do we put more houses here? I, I think so. So with that thought in mind, oh, we're up against a, a hill, huh? No need for it to exist right now, but eventually. <clears throat> Maybe delete this stockpile, build the houses this way. That way they're still serviced by the uh, market. And then after that, long, super mega long term, we build in this direction. I guess until we fill out the map. <laughs> and then we do it again. We're gonna leave that laborer there. And in anticipation of the houses that will need to be built, let's find some stone. There's a lot over here. And I think we're just about tapped out for iron. Oh, we got a merchant. What you got? Yes. Yes. Let's freaking go. Okay, so stone isn't super precious but it's a little bit harder to get let's see if we can make that happen with logs no overpaying there we go let's fucking go pardon my language <coughs> Another pasture. I'd like for it to be roughly the same size. Looks like there's 20 the limit. Yeah. Sure. Eventually we'll switch these around then. We'll have the cows on the bigger farm and the sheep on the smaller farm. That means warmer clothes. That's excellent. That will keep them healthier longer. I presume. very excited about that <laughs> um what else you got sheep I'll take chickens next 
later on. Other than that, you're good to go, man. Later. <clears throat> Shouldn't these guys be, be inside of a barn during the winter? Like, that ain't enough. That ain't nothing. <laughs> Oops, but that sucked. Okay, once all that's cleared out, they're gonna use most of it to build it. Build the fence. Hopefully by then we get couple more laborers. How are we doing? 20 families, 24 homes. Health and happiness are at max. Could probably take someone off of coal production. No, but that's also what they keep their houses warm with doesn't really seem to be an excess so yeah best to leave it as is mm, someone just likes corn that's a lot of children 18. <clears throat> Should we switch them right away? kind of like to see a few of them slaughtered for food. Eleven students. I presume once we get to the point where that's regularly full, we're going to have to just build another school. We can build it right here. Lost a miner. waiting for this to be finished so we can send someone there and get those sheep busy more little babies you think the baby would like to eat the mushroom maybe he ain't getting it though he's forever going to be in this pen never able to reach that mushroom under the leaning tree <laughs> loser sorry that's mean but I hope it's funny. I don't know if we need two people. Could one handle both? You gonna go get the sheep? They're still not done building this road. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, I suppose. Look, oh, they started from this end, I see. That's fine. Well, 
Well, in that case, yeah, it looks like they're almost done with it. How are we doing on stone? It's all over there. No wonder it's taking forever. <clears throat> I think we should try to get another trader here. Or is one the maximum? Just so that citizens don't have to walk all over the place. And we lost our last hunter. There you go. You gonna pick up the sheep? There we go. <laughs> that was my mistake. Probably don't need 20 sheep or whatever, but having a small reserve means we can presumably trade them at some point. Speaking of trade, food. Food is low. Food is low. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not watching the food well, apparently. Alright, what you got? Don't really need... Yeah, I don't need that, man. Do some fishing for me, buddy. you get to work on that for me. It's it's almost there. Eventually we're going to start producing food there too. Population boom means more food necessary. Let's go ahead and max this out. Okay. Why don't you... Hmm. Why don't you do some hunting for me? Nothing to eat but herbs, huh? Okay, fishing's maxed out. You can do some gathering. Alright. <clears throat> There's a supply of food coming in then. Okay, I know, I'm working on it. Look, corn. <laughs> I really think once this reaches 15, we'll be fine. My throat's getting a bit dry. Cornmeal. 
a minute. <clears throat> the vendor died of old age. Is that oh that's you? No 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 no. Okay, fudge. Let's put two there. Like <clears throat> Why don't you get to work on that for me? But in the meantime, go chop some wood. Now we got some food coming in. But they need to bring it here. It actually feels like a very small amount of pumpkin. Soon. Soon. <laughs> I just wanted to make it 10,000. And it's winter time again. you gather herbs. Got one, one, and one. Okay. else to do besides just wait. Actually, I am noticing the time and it seems I have to stop there. So, we will resolve this food crisis. I mean, it looks like we, we more or less got it under control for now. Yeah, we're doing alright. Not great, but we're doing alright. So, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one. Reserve of food is low. <laughs> we'll sort it out. Don't worry. All right. Oh, well, let me make sure to save in front of you first. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next one. Later.